We need to improve a 17 kilometre stretch of tidal flood defence along the Severn Estuary and River Avon to reduce flood risks to Avonmouth and Severnside. This is really important as the risk of tidal flooding is forecast to increase significantly from rising sea levels as a result of global heating. We are working with our partners at South Gloucestershire Council and Bristol City Council to do this work to protect the existing communities and businesses and enable further job creation in the Avon Mouse Sevenside Enterprise area from new development. We also need to create around 80 hectares of new wetland area to offset the loss of similar habitat caused from the development in the Avon Mouse Sevenside Enterprise area. This new wetland is required to support the biodiversity of the Severn Estuary, particularly the internationally important bird species. The tidal defences will look different along the stretch of coastline. At the northern end between the two seven bridges, there is an existing earth flood embankment which we are raising. This will tie in with a section of glass panel flood defence so that we retain views out to the Severn Estuary at New Passage from the Seven Way footpath. This was included following some feedback we received on our initial designs. Further south, there are sections of concrete and sheet piled walls where we don't have space for green earth embankments. We are also including floodgates at points where access through the flood defence is required. Our proposals were awarded planning permission earlier this year and we now have funding lined up for the construction phase of the scheme. We have considered the environmental impact of the scheme. As part of the project some existing habitat will change, for example some poplar trees and hedgerow need to be removed near Northwick to allow the earth embankment flood defence to be raised but we are committed to replace each and every tree that is lost and replant the hedgerow. The benefit of what we're doing is that we can plant appropriate native tree species to replace the non-native poplar trees that we have to remove. We do appreciate this is a change to the landscape, but are confident that by the end of the project, we have a beautiful environment providing habitat for the wildlife. We will also time the works in such a way to reduce impact on the wildlife for example, limiting works during the winter when certain bird species populate the Severn Estuary shoreline. Earlier this summer, we awarded a contract to Ban Nuttall and Mock McDonald Joint Venture, who are now working on the detailed design of the flood defences. They will start constructing the new flood defences and creating the new wetland area from the end of 2020, working on a phase basis until the end of 2023.